Hello and welcome. Today on BOI Weekly, federal government in partnership with the Bank of Industry launches Stream 1 of the MSME Survival Fund and Guaranteed Offtake Stimulus Scheme. The initiative is designed to provide artisans and transporters enrolled in the initiative 30,000 Naira operational grants to lubricate their businesses. This is part of the federal government's response to shield small businesses in Nigeria from the impact of COVID-19 pandemic. The initiative, which was recently launched simultaneously in Lagos State and Abuja, the nation's capital, is expected to support at least 330,000 micro and medium entrepreneurs across the country. I'm Kaede Alayande. Stay with us. Staying true to its vow to better the lot of micro, small and medium enterprises in the country under the Nigeria Economic Sustainability Plan through financial inclusion and other policies that ensure ease of doing business, the federal government has again taken another huge step to put smiles on the faces of more Nigerians operating at the bottom of the pyramid. This time, the federal government is targeting at least 330,000 micro-entrepreneurs across the country in the first phase of a new survival fund targeted specifically at artisans and transport business operators. The intervention is coming at this time to ensure that micro-businesses in the transport sector are not left out of the wave of interventions that the federal government is staging across different subsectors of the economy to help local businesses survive the COVID-19 pandemic and the socio-economic difficulties left in its wake. For these purposes, the government has earmarked the sum of 75 billion naira to execute this initiative, known as the MSME Survival Fund and Guaranteed Offtake Stimulus Scheme. Thursday, 1st of October 2020, the day Nigeria marks the 60th anniversary of her independence, will remain unforgettable in the lives of 330,000 Nigerian artisans and transporters all over the country. It was the day that the federal government strategically chose to launch the initiative and to be sure that the targets of the fund are duly informed, the government chose to launch the scheme in two locations simultaneously, one in Abuja, the nation's capital, and the other in Lagos, the commercial nerve center of the country. In executing these interventions, the Federal Ministry of Industry, Trade and Investment continues to work with its relevant stakeholders to get the job done. The Abuja event gets underway with the arrival of the Honorable Minister of State for Industry, Trade and Investment, Mrs. Miriam Katagum, flanked by the Special Assistant to the President on MSMEs, Mr. Tola Johnson. After getting past the opening formalities, the chairman of the Nigeria Automobile Technician Association, NATA, is grateful to the government for the intervention. But in the same breath, he asks for more. Also, everybody will know that government, they are not for their sports. They are taking us along anything we are doing. It's not today. Right from the Madame enter the city. And I just pray that we still need more the special assets, the minister, man. We still need more. We are going a lot of this one. We need more. The Minister of State for Industry, Trade and Investment, Mrs. Miriam Katagum, opens her remarks with a brief background to the intervention. What we have come to launch today is the Artisans and Transport Scheme with your leadership and to explain how you can benefit as associations and union members. 
However, we are only launching the artisans part of the scheme today. We will inform and engage the leadership of the transport sector, particularly the Ministry of Tran Transport, and the general public before commencing on the transport scheme. His Excellency, Mr. President Mohamed Buhari, had insisted that we will prioritize this scheme. Uh, let me just uh, intimate you that we've divided the implementation of the artisan scheme into three different groups or streams. Uh, and I will just briefly mention those in stream one, uh, which will run from 1st October to the 15th of October. Uh, we took 12 states, um, and I'll just go through quickly, beginning with the FCT, Lagos, Kaduna, Kano, Ogun, Borno, Bauchi, Anambra, Abia, Rivers, Plateau, and Delta. And then from the 19th to 31st October, we'll take the next 12 states, and then from the 9th of November to the 21st, we'll take the last 13 states. Afterwards, she shares the execution plan for the project while providing guidelines on how beneficiaries can maximize their participation in the scheme. The, the, the basic thing that we're looking for, and uh, I think you need to sensitize your members, is they must have a bank account. They must have a BVM because this money is going to be paid directly into their accounts. It's not going to be handed over uh, to anyone. Uh, therefore, the application process and requirements are very simple. And the project coordinator, who is here with us, will speak to you shortly about them. And let me assure you uh, that uh, we are very open to questions, comments. There is a, an office in the BOI building that's our information center for the FCT. So you should feel free uh, to go there in case you've seen something on the website that you really cannot understand. Sometimes there are numbers also that you can call so that they can make the necessary uh, explanation to you. Now, one of the beautiful policies under the scheme is that 45% of the funds must go to businesses run by women, while 5% has been allocated to people with special needs. Now, um, we believe that these clusters, the artisan clusters, can help this nation in terms of job creation and opportunities. And we believe that if we as government give every skilled artisan an enabling environment for his skills to be, for his and her skills, let me correct, there is a gender thing, his and her skills to be harnessed, then Nigeria will be better for it. Mr. President has also approved that 45% of all our interventions will go to female-owned businesses. And here, I would like uh, the lovely ladies that I'm seeing here to ensure that we really mobilize the women for, so that we take and claim the 45% that Mr. President has approved. Secondly, he's also approved 5% of all our schemes to go to those with special needs. And for this, we intend to engage also with the uh, Disabilities Commission and other NGOs to help us bring this information to the targeted audience. On his part, Special Assistant to the President on MSMEs, Mr. Tola Johnson, clearly spells out the procedure and requirement for application under the scheme. Let me tell you how you would um, simple, the simple ways you benefit from this program. It is not difficult. Some programs that we have, you are supposed to go online to and fill the form. But it is not everybody that has that time to go and sit down and start filling the form. So we, and we understand that sometimes a lot of you are very, very busy, basically. So what we have done is that you will be saying who do you call enumerators across the different states. They will approach you. Your associations, your associations, and you want, you can go and fill out your name, give your name to your associations. Once you give your name to associations, your association leaders will follow those names or give those names to the enumerators. Your own business is to have a BVN. We will not deal with you without a BVN. 
will not be with you, if possible, if you don't have a bank account. So for you to even benefit now, go and make sure that you have a bank account, go to your bank and make sure that your BVM is working very well. So the associations are the only ones that are required to have a CAC program, a CAC document. So I know some of you have heard about the payroll support, the one that I use to support salaries of skills. That one is different from this one. That one, every business that supports it must have a CAC document. This one, you as an individual artisan, you don't need a CAC document. Just to ensure that you belong to an association, we have your unique association number. If you, even if you decide that like, I said, I said that, oh, I belong to an association. The president and the secretary they don't like my face. I want to, I want to apply my own. Come and meet the administrators. Give them your unique association number. You can apply on your own. The MSME Survival Fund and Guaranteed Offtake Stimulus Scheme, like some of the other social intervention programs of the government, is largely targeted at businesses at the bottom of the pyramid. The Director General of Smeden, one of the key partner agencies, Mr. Diko Rada, says the current administration has prioritized the masses. First of all, they enrolled 500 billion for social intervention in the area of end power, in the area of school building, and what have you. And recently, the central bank rolled out 100 billion for COVID-19 loan. We are launching 75 billion for MSME on MSME Guarantee Takeoff Scheme, as well as the Survival Fund Payroll Scheme. They have recently allocated funds to the Ministry of Labor to employ 1,000 persons from each of the 774 local government in the country. I have never seen a government in the history of this country that invested heavily on human development than this government. The federal government has done its part in making the funds available. The onus is now on the beneficiaries and the various stakeholders to position themselves in order to maximize the government's provision. The government is ready to be assisting us. It's not today. You understand? So, but what we just need, what has happened today, to flag it up. So I, Philip Ogushaki, I will make sure I mobilize all our remaining members through the certificate of Corporate Affairs Commission. So we can be a register. So under all, all of us will be in under one umbrella. So and the, the benefit will still continue for everybody. Have you ever imagined a time when you could apply for and get a loan from the comfort of your bedroom? Or prayed that the processing time was shorter? Well, it is now a reality with the Fast and Swift Bank of Industry Real-Time Online Loan Application Initiative. The BOI Online Loan Application Portal is designed to deliver access and convenience to prospecting SME customers by ensuring that applicants need not have to physically visit the bank. Applicants simply have to submit all necessary documents via the online portal with the liberty to select their preferred BOI state office wherein their applications will be processed. How it works? Simply search the keyword Bank of Industry and download your mobile app from Play Store for Android users, BlackBerry App World for BlackBerry users and Apple Store for iPhone users. Click on the Apply button. Click on Register to register your account. A verification link and tracking code will be sent to your registered email address. Click on the verification link to facilitate login. Once logged in, you can complete your application, submit and click on Continue to start tracking your loan application. An email will be sent to your email address confirming receipt of the application. With this initiative, BOI has reduced its loan application and processing turnaround time. Start applying for your loan right away. Bank of Industry, transforming Nigeria's industrial sector. As the Minister of State for Industry, Trade and Investment inaugurates the MSME Survival Fund and Guaranteed Offtake Stimulus Scheme in Abuja, the same exercise is being carried out in Lagos. 
Seated here are leaders and representatives of the different umbrella trade unions targeted under the scheme. The government has consulted widely with various eggheads in the finance and business sectors to ensure that the intervention has the desired impact. The managing director, Bank of Industry, Mr. Ulukai Dikwiton, and other stakeholders in the intervention fund are here. The vice chairman of the steering committee, Mrs. Ibukun Awushika, provides an overview of the project. I'm sure you all know that on the 1st of July, 2020, the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria instituted the sustainability plan to help uh, Nigerians in the MSME and in the business landscape to be able to survive the impacts of this COVID pandemic, which is a global issue. And the subset of that overall uh, plan, which we are in charge of, is the segment of it that affects the uh, micro, small, and medium businesses. Now, there are certain key programs that are part of that program. One is the guaranteed offtake program, which certain people will benefit from along the line. With the guaranteed offtake program, across every single state in Nigeria, there are certain categories of products that will be ordered by the government from Nigerian producers in those sectors, and they would be purchased directly from them for the benefit of both states within which they function. And that's the guaranteed of uptake. You will hear more about it as we kick off each segment of the program. Now, another part of that program is what we're doing today, and that involves artisans and transporters. The transport one is specific to people within the, tra uh, the transport sub-segment of the economic uh, area. But today in particular is for artisans because we're trying to cover every level of Nigerian that is involved in any form of economic activity. So we want to be able to support a tailor who was not able to do any work for months because of the lockdown. We want to be able to support uh, the shoemaker, whatever your trade is. And the associations are represented here because the most structured format by which we can engage all of those groups and avoid any form of misuse or misrepresentation is through your trade associations. So we will depend very much on your participation and the honesty of the groups in ensuring that those who are qualified, who are actually in the trade, who are qualified are the ones that are supported through the registration, uh, registration process by your associations. The 75 billion Naira Survival Fund, expected to touch at least 330,000 beneficiaries, is domiciled at the Bank of Industry. The MD CEO, Mr. Oluka Dikwiton, also sheds light on the initiative. Now, for the whole country, this scheme will touch 333,000 people. They, we have divided the whole country into three streams. The first stream are the states that I'm going to read out now. That's from October 1st today to October 15th. We expect to finish this first phase within the next two weeks, that people can actually get their funds within the next two weeks. FCT, Lagos State, Kaduna State, Kano State, Ogun State, Borono, Bauchi, Anambra, Abia, Rivers, Plateau, and Delta. They are in the first stream, October 1st to October 15th. Second stream is October 19th to October 31st. To cover the following states, Taraba, Adamawa, Bayesa, Edo, Ekiti, Ondo, Katsina, Kebi, Kogi, Kwara, Enugu, and the states. 
Then the last stream, which is from the 9th of November to 21st of November, we cover these following states. Aqua Ibo, Cross River, Samvara, Yobe, Sokoto, Nasarawa, Niger, Imo, Oyo, Oshun, Jigawa, Gombe, and Benue. So Lagos is actually is part of the states in stream one, which means it's been launched today. Within the next two weeks, we'll have completed the one for the states. Now, under this scheme also, the government wants to ensure that women get their fair share. So for what we have for each state, 45% will go to women. So for every state, at least we will ensure that 45% of those who are going to benefit will be women. And then there is 5% reserved in every state for those with special needs. The amount is 30,000 Naira per individual. Like the Vice Chair said, we will not just give to you directly. You have to register through the association. The association must be registered with CAC. So you can be sure that they are genuine. Now, for you, you have to have a BBN number. But if you don't have, you can still benefit. But for such associations, the leadership of those associations must have BVN so that we know that we have some people that we can hold accountable for what we are disbursing for that subsector. Some of the beneficiaries had the opportunity to seek further clarity on some gray areas. Some of the technicians, the artisans, some of them are not even aware that such programs exist because some of them are not prone to social media. So I will appeal that we do more publicity of this team. As we are here today, we will take the message to the grassroots, to our association. The federal government is doing so, 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 things. Now the next question I want to ask is from uh, the MD of uh, DOI. Please, sir, I want to use my own association as an example. We already registered under the Ministry of uh, Trade and uh, Industry around ET, something which CS is not around. I thought our certificate is file, or we have to go and register with CEC again. Mr. Olukara Dekwita and Mrs. Ibukun Awoshika respond. The, the point is, uh, by the way, this money is not a loan. It's a grant yes. from government. And we have more people who are qualified than the money that we have. So what I will advise you is that if you know that your own association is deficient in anything, quickly go and regularize it. If not for this scheme, other schemes are going to come up and the same registration will be required. Okay. I have a feeling that because he talked about the date, I have a feeling that whatever uh, name we had for the government structure for registering companies before is who they registered with. So he's concerned about the fact that they're saying CAC. Yes. Are you registered with Smedan? Yes. The overarching purpose of this intervention is to reduce the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic on the average small business owner in Nigeria. Some of the beneficiaries express their delight with the government's approach to executing the program. I'm so excited. I have no even expecting the kind of remembers us for, for all the pandemic from uh, March to uh, in October now. We thank you, we thank you, Federal for remembering us for the pandemic. We have three layers of the MSME. We have the micro, we have the small, and then we have the medium. In short, 10,000 gold mileage for anybody who is micro. 30,000 gold mileage for those in small. 50,000 gold mileage for those in medium. Though we might be looking at it from the quantum of what the figure is, but it has a multiplier effect. Because you can look at somebody who is a cobbler, having a sure study of 30,000 as salary for his staff for the next six months. It go mileage. That means it's going to improve the productivity of the workers. Homegrown school feeding program, end power, market money, trader money, farmer money. I could go on and on. 
These are some of the special intervention programs that the federal government has executed in the last five years, touching millions and millions of Nigerians in different categories at the bottom of the pyramid. And now you have the new 75 billion Naira MSME Survival Fund and Guaranteed Offtake Stimulus Scheme. At least 330,000 beneficiaries across the country are targeted under the program, and the government still has more up its sleeves. Most of these funds have been executed by the Bank of Industry. So for more on how to benefit from this and other funds available at the Bank of Industry, visit their website at boi.ng or call at any of their branches closest to you. And that will be our package on the program for today. Many thanks for watching. I'm Kaidi Alayande. Bye now.